Hi, so today I'm going to talk to you about railway functions. Railway functions are the fastest way to deploy your code, actually. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, so here we have a railway project, you know, an empty project. And all you need to do is just right click and look for the function, click on it. Now it's going to open up a railway function. So you have a source code editor here with a boilerplate code. Now, the beautiful thing about this function is that it has three templates by default for you. The REST API template, the ability to create a website, you know, with JSX, or even the ability to create crones, right? All of which comes with the templates. So you can decide anyone you want and you can just start from there. Now I can decide to go ahead and deploy this straight, but I also want to add some functionality and I'm a lazy programmer. So you know what? Let's vibe code. Uh, the railway functions gives you the ability to, you know, do some prompt engineering here and then click enter to generate a code and then you can deploy. So let's do something. Um, what should we do? So let's create a REST API that returns a list of random dogs uh, from the dog.co API. That's one of one of those popular let's check it out dog.c yes one of those very popular dog apis so let's get back to this uh yeah so let there be at least two or three api endpoints so now that we have this prompt uh you can just do command enter if you're on windows you can do control enter you can just click this so now it's going to go generate a code for us and um, yep here we have it and that's it how many endpoints has one two three uh okay so click on it deploy so this is going to go ahead and deploy it now the good thing about railway functions is that you know once you make a change and you save you can deploy it as many times as possible and then of course it versions your code so you can always go back to previous deployments and see the source code from that deployment and then redeploy again so right now it is re is deploying this um and the good thing also about railway functions is that you can use variables with it railway functions you can also use volumes you can attach volumes to it so if i right click and i click on attach volume it's going to go ahead and attach a volume to this function um you, and it uses bone so if you can use born native APIs with this function. Uh, so this should deploy quickly. And once it's deployed, we can now go ahead and click the function and see what the API does. So now it is deployed. We have a URL. So you let's click on it. 404. Well, 404 because we don't have like an index API. So let's copy this, this route and just do this. Ta -da. Press enter. Yep, so now we have random APIs. So if we reload it, it's going to keep giving us random APIs, random images from the dog API. Uh, which other one should we try? Okay, let's try the one for the breed. Copy and paste it here. Okay, we have a double. Okay, good. Awesome. So if we reload, you see it keeps changing and that works quickly. I mean, this is so good. We're able to write this in what? In less than two minutes and deploy and we already have this uh, so let's do something else let's create another function i want to show you something so let's create another function here uh this time around we are going to use the website with jsx okay uh so here we are just going to create like a simple html and css page and we can easily do that again with prompt engineering so let's do something let's say create a simple landing uh let's say music player landing page that plays um five songs use um a spotify use use the spotify team all right so let's go uh, let's wait for it to generate the code for us of course like it's not going to use valid like songs right so here you can see it's already linking to example.com so once you, you can go ahead and edit that to whatever like you know royalty free music you have or you can take it further 
attach volumes to your function you know make sure you have songs in there and then just reference them all right so this is done go ahead and deploy so this is going to deploy and once it deploys we should be able to see a simple music landing page with some songs i mean we've already given it a prompt to use the spotify yeah oh that was fast <laughs> so let's click on it uh we click on this boom so you can see you have this music player you have a few songs now none of them is going to play obviously but you can go ahead and you know add stuff yourself so here you can see it you have the source code here uh, so let's do something let's just uh let's let's deploy this again so we are going to add so this is five right so let's go ahead and add another one add another one uh so driver's license so let's call this um sugar boy we can call this uh prosper song whatever and then save it's going to stage a change and deploy uh so i'm doing this so that you can we can test the like versioning of the code right so this is deploying this now i mean this version of code is different from what we deployed the first time so if you go to deployment uh this is already successful you can see we already have this one that we deployed now we can just click on view logs go to details and you can see the source code from the previous code here so you can always go ahead and redeploy this if you want this back and go back and see it in the in the, in the code editor but we don't need to do that so we have a new one let's click on the source code uh open it up now you can see sugar boy prosper song so simple so that's all that, that that's it about railway functions like so you can, you can add variables to it and when you add variables uh let's go to the one for our api so when you add variables you can always come here and do like bone bone dot m dot whatever the name of the variable is right and you can always use native bone functions uh, like native bone api here uh, you can do bond m dot port you can do imports you can do import dot meta dot m like any of those will work and it will just fetch your railway environment variables so that's really functions for you. Now there are some limitations here, of course. Of, you know, this file can only you know contain a max of like six kilobytes, and then you can always use it only for like small tasks. You cannot use it for like, like very big tasks. You know, uh, that will require you using a project. But you can see how much time really function has saved us like you can code in the in the in the source code editor. We can quickly make changes and deploy again. Very fast to deploy. We can also use, we can also vibe code. We can all, you know, tell railway function to go ahead and like do generate code for us. So if you want to know more about railway functions, uh, you can go to our documentation and you can just search for functions, click on it. And then here you can see the limitations and you can see every other thing about it. So that's railway functions for you. And I'll see you in the next lesson.